Let's talk shop. Walking bass lines. We don't talk about them nearly enough. Okay, so you have great time, you have a big sound, you know your chords, but are you playing the changes or are they playing you? Good walking bass lines will swing the band and outline the chords, but great walking bass lines will steer the direction and intensity of the music. Yes, we can do that with just quarter notes. One of the first techniques we learn to use when walking is to play a scale. Why does this work so well? It fulfills a musical function. Play chord tones on strong beats. and it does so moving only in whole and half steps. It's a great example of what we call smooth voice leading. See if you can play this pattern starting on any chord tone and see where it leads you. The next step is giving each chord tone its own measure Using a half step approach note, you're going to play up the scale, playing each chord tone twice in each bar, going to the top and back down to the bottom. This is showing us that A, you don't always have to start on the root, and B, you are always close to a chord tone somewhere. I started having my students work on connecting chord tones in good sounding, efficient ways. We'll take one bar combinations like the root coming back to the root. or the fifth going to the third, or the seventh going to the root, and try to come up with as many ways to play those connections as possible. You get the idea. When you combine all those approaches, you can create a directional line that hits all the chord tones without repetition and without jumping all over the place. Now, this works great for one chord, but how can we use this practically over something like the rhythm changes? First, let's make sure we can play every chord tone for each of the changes, from our lowest note to our highest note, in half position only. Now starting in B flat, instead of trying to keep up with the roots, stay in half position, focus on the shape of the line and don't jump more than a third. When you learn how to catch those chord tones, you can keep playing in one direction as long as you want. 
I'd actually recommend taking some time to write down a line or two so that you can explore this concept at your own pace. Also, this is not an excuse to spend your time on the bandstand coming up with clever lines. When I'm playing with someone, I'm listening first as hard as possible and playing shape and direction. So swing first, but find those good notes. It'll take the music to another level. But before I go, I need to give a huge shout out to the Penn State University Double Bass Studio. My wife and I had a couple of days off this past week, so we decided to take a trip up to Penn State where she's an alumni, and I somehow wandered into the music building and found out that Joel Quarrington was gonna be there the next day. Not only did I get to sit in on a masterclass being conducted by Joel, but I got to hear some awesome young bassists that are going through the PSU program right now. You guys are incredible. I want to thank you. I want to give a special thank you to Dr. Patricia Weitzel for letting me sit in. I can't wait to come back and see what you guys are doing. So keep it up, guys.